Hello, Chameleon students. It's your friendly neighborhood math teacher, Mr. Allred. It's my honor and pleasure to be sitting here with you today. Uh, we're about to talk about lesson seven from unit four called Percent Machines. This lesson is all about calculating unknown numbers with percentages. In this lesson, you'll practice calculating the original value, new value, or the percent of change when given the two other quantities. Okay, it's going to be pretty awesome. The big learning goal for this lesson is that you should be able to calculate the original amount given the new amount and a percent of change for one step in multi-step percent problems. So it's all about uh, working uh, with uh, the original value, the new value, and the percentage of increase or decrease and being able to find one of those components uh, when you're only given the other two components. Okay, this lesson um, has a warm-up, it has activity one and activity two. Um, we're going to focus mainly in this video on the warm-up and activity one. So we'll be working closely with slides one through seven in, in today's video. And then when we bring this back up in class again, it'll be next Monday, the 25th of January. We'll talk about slide eight, which is a challenge slide, and you work on your synthesis and cool down slides, of course. So I'm gonna talk through slides one through seven here in this video, and that'll help you get started um, with the lesson. So slide one is the warm up. It introduces this percent machine to you. It's very, very beautiful. Um, it looks like this, as you can see. That's the percent machine. Um, and it increases numbers by 50%, at least in this case. If you hit try it, it'll show you what happens to 10. It uh, magically increases it by 15% and it turns into 15. That's the percent machine. That's the whole warm up slide. Is it just wants you to see that. You can reset it if you want, um, but the numbers are going to stay the same. And it's just going to do the same thing over and over again because that's what the percent machine does. So once you've uh, gone and seen that on your own, go fiddle with slide one for a few minutes and then come on back to Edpuzzle. So this is a continuation of the warm-up slide. Um, it, 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 it explains the fact that they've built this machine that follows these instructions. It takes an original number, the input, whatever it is, 10, 20, 30. It increases it by 50% and then decreases what the new number is by 50%. So it takes the new number, increases it by 50%, takes the outcome, and then decreases that by 50%. I want you to tell me if you think the final output will be less than, greater than, or equal to the original input. So think about a number, try 10 maybe, and think if you increase 10 by 15% or by 50% and then decrease the new number by 50%, would that final answer be greater, less than, or equal to the original number, which was 10? Explain your thinking there on slide two. So go work on slide two and come back to that puzzle. Awesome job. We'll talk more about that in class. Uh, but challenge number one is going to help you understand what might happen. So I want you to take 20, put 20 in this machine, increase it by 50%, see what you get, and then take your new number, decrease that by 50%, and see what you get. And see if that's less, greater, or equal to 20, but also type your final answer here in this box. So slide four is similar. Well, I'm sorry. Rather, I want you to go work on slide three and then come back to Edit Puzzle. Slide, yeah, do that. That'll be good. Awesome job. Yeah. Okay. Slides four, five. Slides four and five are both challenge slides. I want you to work on those. So slide four says that 60 went into this machine and the number 72 came out. So 72 came out. I want you to tell me what the percent of increase must have had to be for that to work. That's slide four. Slide five says the number went into this machine. You don't know what number it is. But, you know, the 36 came out and it increased by 20%. I want you to tell me what number you think went in. Something that increased by 20% and became 36. Let's go work on slides four and five and come back to Ed Puzzle. Finally, slide six. Uh, slide six and seven are kind of together. Um, slide six talks about Kai. Kai used this strategy here. So I want you to describe something that you think you did well. What do you think you did well? Describe something that maybe you would change about Kai's strategy there on slide six. Finally, on slide seven, we'd like for you to do this final challenge. It says a number one in this machine. We don't know what the number is, but we know that 57 came out. And in this case, two things happened to it. It increased by 50% and then it decreased by 5%. What number do you think went in there? Slide seven, probably the most challenging one so far. Uh, go work on six and seven on Edpuzzle and then come back. Awesome job, guys. So today in the video, you worked on all the things you worked on slides one through seven of lesson four, or I'm sorry, of lesson seven um, from unit four. We won't have a 
full math class again until Monday, uh, January 25th, because you have teacher work days on Thursday and Friday. So the next time that we're able to review this will be Monday. You need to make sure that you have all your thoughts together about slides one through seven by class on Monday. Thank you so much for coming. Have a great day, guys. Go Bulldogs. Go America.